Hello, beautiful souls. Today, I want to raise awareness about glyphosate, a popular herbicide found in weed killing products. Glyphosate is sprayed over massive, massive amount of crops, such as corn, soy, wheat, barley, bean, and also found in drinking tap water. Okay, it is glyphosate is a broad spectrum systemic herbicide that is mixed with other chemicals and sprayed in yards and fields to curb, as I said, growth of weeds. Another name for it would be Roundup, a popular name, right? Which is right now in the news uh, due to a lawsuit and its exposure linking to cancer. So what are some of the potential risks of glyphosate exposure? Ingestion of large amounts may result in damage to the heart, kidney, and liver. And remember that our liver and kidney are detox organs. Inhalation may irritate the lungs and cause difficulty breathing. Studies also show exposure disrupts the endocrine system, leading to improper hormone production. There is also research linking high glyphosate exposure to a 41% increase in the risk of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. High exposure could also promote neurological disease development, reduce hemoglobin concentration, leading to mild anemia, reduce phagocytosis, which is the body's immune response to foreign substances such as bacteria. So that means it would also weaken our immunity. It may trigger oxidative stress, which is an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in your body. It is found in human hair and urine samples. <clears throat> Glyphosate binds tightly to soil and can be detected up to six months, depending on the climate and type of soil it is in. Glyphosate has been detected in rain samples exceeding amounts previously detected. No associations were observed between soil and rainwater concentration in the same monitoring areas, despite the fact that treated soil is the primary source. Every study that has measured for glyphosate residues in human urine has found it in. In 2022, CDC published a massive study that showed more than 80% of urine samples drawn from children and adults in U.S. contain glyphosate. Environmental Working Group tested and found glyphosate in more than 95% of popular oat-based food samples. According to the Detox Project, some of the highest levels of glyphosate found by third-party tested uh, testing were actually found in food labels that were labeled non-GMO. Here are three ways you can reduce your exposure to glyphosate. Choose organic products or products that are certified glyphosate residue-free whenever possible and always wash your produce well before consuming it. Speak out about the use of glyphosate to your local representatives and to companies directly. Our voices make a difference. Some regions are already committing to phase out the use of glyphosate as a desiccant and companies are making efforts to achieve the glyphosate residue-free certification. Even Kellogg has said they will phase out glyphosate by 2025. That would be amazing. Before drinking from tap, Test your drinking water for glyphosate because permitting levels in tap water reach 700 parts per billion in US, which is quite high. And the benefits of staying informed and making informed choices allows you to sustain a healthy life for yourself and your family. Be well.